I got an email a few days ago from somebody that said they found where I live and they were gonna come and get me and they were very proud of themselves. My name, by the way, is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. You may recognize me from Shark Tank or the NBC Today Show. And I never, ever let anybody know where I live. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. So my home address is out of my driver's license. It's not on my car registration. It is on nothing. So you can't find me. What I have instead is when I lived in Virginia, it was a PO box, but then Utah didn't allow me to have a PO box. So now I have a UPS store on my driver's license. But again, going back to this email that I got the other day, I got an email and some guy basically said to me, hey, Jason, you think you're ex-CIA and you're so cool, but you're really in, and I'm paraphrasing because there was a lot of foul language in this email, which I'm not gonna say. You're, you're really an idiot and you think you could hide your house, but I'm an IT expert, computer expert, and I found your house and here's your home address and now I can come find you anytime I want. This individual was very, very proud of himself, thought he'd done awesome work. Now, I didn't take the time to respond to him because I never responded to uh, trolls, but if I would have responded, I would have said, yep, you're right, you found it, go wait there until you see me because of course that wasn't my home address. So what you gotta realize is one, I control the information I put out there and you should too. So you need to know if you know somebody Googles you or somebody runs your background check, what is in there, and I know exactly what's there. If somebody runs my background check because I control the information, I put out what I want to put out because I'm not having my information about my house. I'm married, I have six kids, I, I was gonna say, I get a lot of death threats. It's not a lot of death threats, but I get about one or two death threats a year because of all the security and consulting work that I do where crazies come out of the woodwork. And so there's no way I'm having some nut job show up my house you know, with a gun or whatever. The way I hide my house is first, you can put it in an LLC and then you can wrap it in a trust. There's many things you can do. I'm a huge fan of the LLCs. You can make it a Wyoming LLC or wherever you want. But <clears throat> the issue comes down to payment. There are private money lenders all over. If you've ever invested in real estate or know anybody that's invested in real estate, I promise you they know a private money lender. It is going to cost you a little more when it comes to interest rates, but in my uh, case, because of my family, because of death threats, it's well worth it. So if you go to Bank of America, if you go to Wells Fargo, if you go to Capital One, if you go to you know any other bank and you get a traditional mortgage through them, that loan is going to show up on your credit report. It's going to show up on your background check. So when people background check you, it's going to show Hey, John Doe lives at 123 Main Street in Timbuktu, Indiana. When somebody runs my credit report, they see a bunch of different places and I don't live at any of them because I use these private money lenders. So if you value your privacy, if you have any kind of threats, I would highly encourage you to do this and then check your own credit report. So I work with a lot of clients, uh, very high net worth clients and one of them wanted to background check me once, totally understand because he was gonna share with me some very sensitive information and he background checked me and I didn't even know he was gonna do it, but what I care, it doesn't matter if somebody background checks me, I got nothing to hide and there's nothing that leads to my home anyway. And he said, oh, Jason, you know, your background's clean as I thought it would, we're good to go and I can see you live at this address. And I said, well, no, I actually don't live at that address. That's just what shows up. I don't give anybody my home address uh, for safety and, and security reasons. Background check yourself, see what's there. You may be surprised and you're, you know, check your credit also, you may need to fix that, but if, you value your privacy like I do. Don't have anything come to your house. Don't have the mail come. Make sure that all your mail goes to a UPS store or PO box or whatever. And then I'm, you're probably not gonna go move because of this, but the next time you move, consider if you're able to, and if you get private money, uh, private uh, lenders to help you out, to not own anything in your own name. My house is not owned in my own name. You can't find me on any records or any of that. With the crazy and unpredictable world we live in and nut jobs everywhere, you don't want somebody showing up at your house one day and I'm amazed at the number of people, celebrities, high net worth guys I work with who actually do have their home address on stuff. Of course, we quickly change that and we rectify that, but you gotta protect your privacy in this day and age. If you have any questions about this, let me know. If you wanna come visit my house, check my background and go to my house because I will never ever be there so you won't see me because that's not really where I live. And make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification because I got a lot more coming your way. If you want more privacy and spy secrets and and stuff like that in home defense secrets, check out below, especially go to spyhomedefense.com if you wanna see exactly how I protect my wife, my kids, making sure that nobody's gonna have a home invasion and all that kind of stuff. And that's all I got for today. I gotta to run. God bless you, God bless your family.